New at 6 o'clock, it's something right out of a sci-fi movie, except it's real. The NYPD, now with a high-tech device that can scan a crowd and actually tell if someone has a gun. So is this good law enforcement or a violation of civil liberties? Here's our investigative reporter, Jim Hoffer. This is the new tool in the NYPD's battle against illegal guns. It operates on the same technology as body scanners used at airports. When deployed in the streets, the weapon scanner will use radiation to detect concealed guns. If something is obstructing the flow of that radiation, for example, a weapon, the device will highlight that object. Commissioner Ray Kelly and his state of the NYPD address today said they began testing the new technology days after it arrived last week. These images are from a recent test that we conducted with an officer carrying a hidden handgun. You get a sense of why we're so hopeful about this tool. There's a lot of unknowns here, a lot of questions that need to be answered. Critics of the NYPD's best known gunfighting tool, Stop and Frisk, are holding their fire until they know more about the weapon scanner. Is it going to be a, a better alternative to aggressive Stop and Frisk, for example? Or is it going to turn into another, you know, civil liberties and civil rights disaster? The concern is that the scanner will be used in a highly discriminatory way, like stop and frisk, targeting minority neighborhoods, or that the virtual pat-down will detect keys and cell phones as suspicious items. I can't say I'm dead set against it, but I can say that I and I think a lot of us in the police accountability movement are very concerned. Commissioner Kelly says they are working with the city's legal staff to ensure proper use of the device, which has been under development for a year. Police in London are already using the weapon scanner, and they've worked with the NYPD to develop the technology for use in the streets of New York. Commissioner Kelly says that more trial runs will be conducted before it is deployed full-time. In Manhattan, Jim Hoffer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.